map of Hungary. As you can see on it, Pécs is situated in the southern part of the country, very close to the Croatian border. Our nearest airport is in Budapest, and it's not far from here at all. It's a two and a half hour drive from here to get to Budapest. Uh, this is a photo of our main square. Pécs is a beautiful historical city that has 2,000 years of age. It was founded by the Romans. It's one of the largest Hungarian cities. We have 150,000 inhabitants who live in this city. It's not only the educational, but also the cultural center of the region as well. It has a very active cultural life. Because of that, it was designated to be the European capital of culture in 2010. As I said, this town is full of history. We even have a UNESCO World Heritage Site here that's worth a visit. It's, it's a culturally very diverse and stimulating city, and it's also a university town, so it offers everything a student would need. It's very affordable, it's a safe place, and it really is a welcoming city. We have lots of restaurants, cafes, nightclubs, and bars, and our students really, really love being here and living here. Here you can see a photo of our city, as you can see, we have quite many pretty buildings here. I hope all of you one day can come over and see the place for yourselves. Some more photos of our downtown. That's our city hall to the left. That's our cathedral and uh, a part of our one, one of our walking streets as well. We have a Mediterranean climate here, which means that we have hot summers and cold winters. So during winter time, we sometimes get snow as well. And when it's not COVID time, we have a fantastic Christmas market as well on our main square. As for the university, the University of Page is a prestigious research-based university. It was founded in 1367, which makes us not only the oldest uh, university in Hungary, but also one of the oldest universities in Central Europe as well. It is a very well-known university in Central Europe. We have 20,000 uh, students, we have 2,000 lecturers, and we offer a very wide scale of studies at our 10 schools. So we have a uniquely uh, large scale of study areas that we offer to our students. We offer education on all the three levels. We have bachelor, master's, and PhD programs as well. We have 22 uh, doctoral schools and we even have, uh, or we also have 24 university hospitals because we have a medical school as well. Here you can see photos of our 10 schools. We have a, a school of humanities, health sciences. As I said, we have a medical school. We have a school of pharmacy, a school of cultural sciences, natural sciences, engineering and information technology business and economics, school of law, and we even have a school of music and visual art. We don't have one large campus. All our 10 faculties, as we call them here, all our 10 schools are scattered all around the city. So we never know whether the city is in the university or the university is in the city. But because of that, uh, Page is a real and a very nice university town. The University of Page is not only uh, the oldest, but one of the most active university in internationalization as well in the region. We launched our very first English taught full degree program more than 30 years ago. And ever since then, one of our strategic aims was to increase the number of our degree programs that we offer in English and also to increase the number of our international students. And today we can very proudly say that we have 5,000 students coming from more than 100 countries to this university. And it means that every fourth student at this university is an international student. Uh, today we offer more than 80 full degree programs fully taught in English. So there are a lot of study areas our international students can choose from. For our internationalization activities, we have received various awards as well. We have twice received the Erasmus Quality Award, and we also received the Internationalization of Hungarian Higher Education Award. Uh, having so many international students and so many international programs means that you don't have to worry about not speaking Hungarian. You don't have to at all. So you can very easily get along with speaking English. At this university, 
and in the city as well. Flora will talk about the education programs. I would just like to mention that in addition to the high quality of education, we also try to make sure that our students have a very good time here. So we have lots of programs and projects that we organize for our international students. And we even have unique programs as well, just like our dancing university or our music university, or we have a university theater, and we have lots of festivals and programs that we all, all organize on a regular basis. Here you can see a list of them. It includes our Page City Carnival, our International Evening, uh, the famous Page University Days, which is an ongoing festival for almost a week. We have regular country presentations. We have international gala nights, international music nights, and regular parties and cultural events. So our international students and our Hungarian students are never bored here. Here you can see some photos of our spectacular international evening that we organize every spring semester. Unfortunately, this year we could not organize it because of the COVID-19 situation, but we, we really hope that next year we can go back to this tradition and we can organize it every year again. When we ask our international students what they do in addition to preparing for their classes, they, they always tell us lots of different things. So I collected some of the activities that our international students like doing. They can hike, swim, bike, or walk here. They, uh, they also like to discover the beautiful sites and landscape, as they told us. Uh, there are regular festivals, gastro and wine festivals as well, organized here, not only in Pech, but in the region as well. So our international students like visiting these festivals and eating out as well. And uh, Hungary is also famous for its spa resorts, and our international students love discovering those. So they like to have a day off at any of the neighboring spa resorts that they can find here or they can choose to go to concerts or music festivals, uh, or they can just work out because there are lots of gyms here in the city as well that they can visit. Or if they are into cultures and cultural activities, they can visit uh, the many museums, galleries, or exhibitions, or they can visit a nearby lake called Orfu, which is really a beautiful place to go to. And if you have any question about all these activities or about the university, I will be very happy to answer those after Flora's presentation. So Flora, let me hand it over to you. Thank you so much. Um, can you see it? Yes. Okay. Nice. So, good afternoon or good morning to you. I'm Flora Fanyuk, Study Abroad Program Coordinator of the University of Pécs. Um, and as such, I am responsible for keeping contact with the interested and the um, incoming study abroad students. And I'm here to help them during their time in Pécs and before their arrival. I'm going to talk about uh, the academic essentials, the internship opportunity we have here in our office, and the sources of information for our study abroad program. There's a wide variety of programs students can choose from here at the University of Pace study abroad program. We have more than 500 courses in 28 different available programs of these eight study areas, which are humanities and social sciences, pharmacy, architecture and engineering, law, natural sciences, health sciences, music and visual arts, and business and economics. Our study abroad program is really flexible as it allows students to take courses from different departments across the, across the university. Uh, so basically students can create their own study plans by combining classes. Um, so it is really easy to find the courses that fit your home degree best. Uh, you don't have to speak Hungarian, as you mentioned, because all of these courses are fully taught in English. Uh, we are happy to provide syllabi if you need any uh, for the uh, courses you would like to choose. And also there is no minimum GPA requirement set by the University of Page. You have to take at least 20 ECTS credits for a semester, but 
because of the majority of the courses represent between four and nine ECTS credits, that minimum ECTS number won't be so hard to reach. Um, we provide you with a transcript of records at the end of the semester, and we are very happy to help in the credit transfer process if needed. Besides being credit-based, the tuition of the study abroad program is very affordable. It ranges from $80 to $200 per credit for a semester. So, for example, if you would like to take three business courses, the, your tuition will be $2,500 or $300 for a semester. And here you can see uh, how much one credit costs in each study area. And the program fee is um, best if settled before your arrival to pay. So you don't have to uh, transfer the tuition fee well in advance, but um, before you arrive to pay. Each semester consists of a study period and an exam period. Um, the majority of the exams takes place uh, at the exam period, but you have the possibility to finish earlier because our uh, lecturers are really flexible on allowing study abroad students to finish earlier. Also, some exams are um, possible to be taken uh, um, in the study period. Um, and in general, you do not have to prepare for every week. And there's a possibility to retake exams here at the University of Pace. It is advised to arrive uh, at the end of August before the fall semester and at the end of January before the spring semester. And the course registration takes place here in Page in the first two weeks of every semester. A few words about the application process. It's really simple. And as I mentioned, uh, I'm here during the whole process, so students can contact me anytime if, if they have any questions or, or, um, or problems with, with the application. So there's an online application site which is really easy to fill. It is open now for the fall semester. Uh, students have to upload um, an enrollment verification and the passport photo and nothing more. The application deadline for the fall semester is the 15th of May and for the spring semester is the 20th of November. The application process, as I mentioned, is really simple. So you just choose courses, consult with your study abroad advisor, then email us the University of Page the course list, which we will be happy to approve. Then uh, you have to fill in the online application form. You will receive a letter of acceptance with all the courses, the credits and the tuition in it. And after that, you just have to transfer the tuition fee, buy a plane ticket, take out your health insurance, fill the dormitory application, book an airport shuttle from Budapest to Page, and pack your suitcase, and we will be waiting for you here in Page. And one more thing, you don't have to have a visa to travel to Hungary. You will have to apply for a residence permit, but uh, you have to do that once you are here in Page. Moving on to accommodation options. The number one option is our very international dormitory with fully equipped and refurbished double rooms, which cost uh, $150 a month. But of course, you can choose to uh, live in a private flat or room in the city. There are numerous uh, places to, to live in the city and uh, a wide variety of housing options as well. And there are colleagues at the university who help you find the best flat for you. The study abroad office hires one or two interns every semester whose tasks uh, are to manage our social media accounts and assist in the promotion of the program. They are also asked to share their first-hand experiences with new uh, interested students. And for that, we offer for ECTS credits, an official internship certificate, and also a great opportunity to arm for that talent in communication and marketing for interested students. So uh, you can contact me anytime if you have questions about the study abroad program itself or the application process, the application site, courses, syllabi, the internship opportunity, or any practical information regarding PAGE before or after your arrival. 
and you can uh, you can find our study abroad office downtown in this beautiful building right next to our one of our faculties so please make sure to visit our website where you can find not just all information about our study abroad program but a guide to our beautiful city and several student testimonials as well and follow us on social media um, to get the feeling of what is it like to study abroad in page and thank you so much for your attention <laughs>